I saw the Flex prototype way before the end of 2019 and at the first look I thought this is not going to be good. I love the X-Way Pro version and it is one of my favorite boards still for the short distances. But the ride kit is not really heavy rider friendly. The belts would snap on me at every 150 miles because I accelerate super aggressively, I break hard and they're too narrow for the exercise load. I shared my experience with X-Way team and their engineers started to work right away on the new drive system. I wish the new drive can be swapped to the pro version and if X-Way does not offer that as an option, I'll do myself an idea why the connectors. I think it will make the board so much better for the heavier riders. After looking closely at this drivetrain, I think this is the best drivetrain so far. When I opened the box, I was surprised that the new Flex version looks so much better than the rendering I saw in 2019. There's so much improvement everywhere. Even the software has so many new things that I'll go over in detail, but wait. There are a bunch of issues also. I think this board has the potential of becoming my favorite board if all of these issues are rectified. Let's start with the deck. Construction of bamboo and fiberglass layers. Has unique shape, aggressive concave, not just from side to side, but also around the wheel base, which will facilitate larger wheels and also prevent from wheel bites. It will also help you know all the time where you feed position, letting you focus on the right. Super maneuverable, flexy, light, and very responsive. Sturdy and handles speed very well. Aesthetically, the deck looks really good. I really like the graphic on the bottom. The concave is good, but I found it troubling at the first ride. I wore 11.5 to 12 size shoes and my foot would not fit properly, so I had to narrow my stand. The front fits perfectly, but the back at the beginning was uncomfortable. After 50 minutes of riding, I found a comfortable position. I have to mention here two different scenarios. If you're riding sneakers, shoes with soft sole, you have no trouble. Your foot would emulate the bottom shape of the deck. But if you wear this type of shoes or dress shoes, hard sole, you might find this uncomfortable. Grip tape. Shock absorbing, similar as the previous models. Final production board will have the grip tape covering the edges of the deck completely. Enclosures. X-Way is shifting from a monocoque or unibody structure to a flexi deck and two separate enclosures for battery and speed controller that will allow you to swap to your favorite deck case you like to customize your board. Now when it comes to the battery and AC enclosures, I wish they made them a bit wider maybe longer but much much thinner i feel like the battery just crammed all underneath and looks a bit bulky i like the design case uh, the screws the charging port the rubber thing that you can actually replace in case if you might need or if you get it damaged everything looks really premium but i just feel like it will be a little bit thinner wider and longer i think you'll get more clearance and it will just be balanced even better Trucks and base plates. Produced in the house by X-Way, they are wider and much stronger than previous Seismic Ions trucks used in X1 and the Pro version. These trucks are forged and CNC. They're perfectly straight where you insert the wheels, but they have a slight concave from start of the hanger to the other end side. Not sure about the geometry design, but these trucks feel really comfortable at high speeds and the controls are great. The board came with two set of bushings. The green ones are 98 drometer and high rebound. The other ones I don't have the numbers, but they fell much softer. I guess they're better for carving. I always try with the trucks tighten it. On the first ride, right out of the box, the old board felt unstable. So I swapped this custom made washers that X-Way included in the package and right away the board felt so much more responsive, super stable, allowing me to really have a control carve and push it aggressively to the max speed and feel 100% in control. The board felt really, really comfortable and more maneuverable, well balanced. I cannot express in words how much better the ride felt after this quick swap. I'm looking to mount these washers on the other boards that I have and really test feel the difference. The belts run straight with no movement even when you change directions. The motors on the Flex are smaller size than the Riot model. The Flex has 4230 size with 160 kV versus 4235 size with 160 kV. So compared to other e-board brands, excluding price levels, we can clearly see that X-Way is more efficient squeezing the max power through software versus replacing with bigger motors like other companies do. The ESC. 
The X-Way is using their own custom ESC. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but Hobby King company owns the X-Way brand. So X-Way team has the best R&D team and they have a lot of resources, financial support to create the best board available for the public. At that time, when I reviewed the board, I felt that this is the best ESC ever created. Later on, X-Way updated with the Pro One model and the Riot Kit, which made it even better, delivering more power, but the most importantly, more control, better braking, accelerating acceleration. X-Way was the first e-board company that gave you the opportunity to custom set all the controls for all four speeds. X-Way did not stop here, but even went beyond and gave you even more options. Now getting back to the flex, I felt like the X-Way team stepped down several levels. And this is the sad part here. At maximum acceleration at 25 miles per hour, when I press the brakes, I realized that I don't have them. The board started engaging the brakes after several seconds and the brakes were really weak and underpowered. So when you ride under 10 miles an hour, the brakes are good. But anything over 20 miles an hour, the brakes are on the weak side and you have to plan ahead before applying them. I stopped right away and I pulled my phone to go over the settings. I thought that the brake is not set properly. After opening the app and connecting to the board, I realized that everything was set to max. I don't know if this is a mistake or the pre-production boards were not properly set or tested. I think the brake settings can be very easily and very fast transferred from the Pro One version version ESC, the flex, and keep on the same parameters. I think X-Way team can address really fast over the year for the software update. Oh, by the way, guys, there's no other e-board brands in this price range or higher that offers this option. It feels like X-Way is not just an e-board brand, but a tech company. The acceleration, same as braking, it's on the weak side from the start, but once you pass five miles an hour, it picks up really, really fast and boosts up the power delivery. It is advertised by X-Way team as a budget brand Board, and it is inferior to Pro One model. So it is expected to have a lower top speed and less power delivery than Pro One version. I still like the acceleration. It is really strong and moves 235 pounds my weight surprisingly super well, but not as fast and powerful as the Pro One version. The flex still allows me to build up speed and ride aggressively. Unfortunately, I can't say that about braking. Battery, 12S2P, 259 watt hour with Sony VTC6, which are great cells that offer high capacity and high amp output. The battery is advertised by X-Way team as being swappable, but you still have to remove the six screws. I like the connector and the retaining ring, really well designed here, the negative, the positive and the BMS wires. Really nicely uh, done the bottom here, small inserts, hopefully they're not brass but steel and lost the uh, multiple removal of the screws. Really nicely done on the plate, so you have the metal plate and the rubber to absorb the vibrations. The battery looks really cool. Not waste this place here, and make it maybe a little bit longer, maybe wider, but not so thick. So you gain maybe like half an inch of clearance for heavier riders, but it's uh, very light. It has a very smart BMS, which we'll go over in a second. Input 51 volts, which is 12 S and uh, 3 amp max. So I think the fast charger will be not faster than 3 amps. And I have 259 watt hour. I really like the case, really well uh, designed. It's beautiful. And uh, you have this uh, spongy rubber on the bottom, which definitely uh, helps with uh, absorbing the vibrations. And uh, really, really well done. This is the first smart battery that has actually 24 sensor that allows the BMS to control each individual cell. In case one of them goes bad, you get notification and uh, you'll know that your battery has issues and that cell needs to be replaced, uh, which I think is really smart. This is what Tesla has. Each module has a BMS that actually notifies you exactly what's going on with your battery. This is really, really good. This will avoid potential fires or potential uh, issues that uh, can happen down the road. And we have a high precision galvanometer that monitors battery within 1% for more accuracy and consistency, which is super, super important. Also, long-term storage will automatically trigger the low power mode. So let's say if you fully charge your battery and you don't use it for extended period of time, the battery will self-discharge to a safe level. 
The Flex has several hidden options that I have not seen in any other e-board. So I fully charged the battery and I went for a ride. So right from the start, after maybe like 50 or 100 yards, I started pulling the brakes and the remote started vibrating. So I looked at the screen and it was saying battery high voltage. This notification tells you that, okay, you have to discharge the battery in order to avoid potential risk or accident. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen, let's say if you keep braking, I did not test that and I did not have a camera to record this message, unfortunately. But this is quite amazing having that on your remote. I have not seen any other brand or any other e-board having this feature. Second hidden feature happened when I used the fast charger for the Pro 1 version. I cut out the magnetic connector and I wired the standard connector and I did charge the board so it charged really really fast which was amazing but on the remote it was showing that the battery overheated. Uh, I'm waiting for X-Way to reply and, and, and see what's going on because so charging 4 amps should not be a problem. I did that because I had an emergency charge in 20 minutes half an hour so I can get back to the office and get back home I did not have time to charge with this 1.5 amp charger which I knew was gonna take too long this is another problem that drives me ballistic we have Sony VTC 6 cells that I previously mentioned that can take up to 3c as charging rate and we have 1.5 amp charger not even 2 amps and it worked the error stayed for that night and next day in the morning when I turn this on it would turn on show the information and then it'll say batteries overheated still and then when I plug back this charger the error disappears so I don't know if anything is damaged it should not be damaging anything right because the battery is big enough to accept 1c rating so I'm waiting for their engineers to get back in touch with me so we can go over the discuss and see what's the issue but that's the charging problem charging time with a standard charger up to 4 hours and 40 minutes that's just insanely slow wheels come stock 85 by 56 millimeter size and 76 a durometer soft with good grip but be careful when riding over water puddles tend to slide otherwise very comfortable over the rough terrains x-way team really thinks of you they made different adapters so you can use your favorite wheels in case if you want to customize your board range I weighed 235 pounds, the temperature was 57 degrees in Fahrenheit, and I managed to cover 12 miles in range. Now on the X-Way Pro Ride Kit version, I get 6.5 miles going full speed. On the X-Way Pro Hub version, I get 8.5 miles. Now taking in consideration that the board is heavier by 1.5 pounds, and having a 235 pound rider getting 12 miles in range, it is an amazing result. I have over 100 miles on this board. I've been riding every single day for the last two weeks. The brackets are really beautifully designed, but the plastic is way too brittle. So every time I hit, I actually crack. This evening I lost the second belt cover. So this should be maybe use a different material that's much softer. So it's hard, but it's not brittle and lasts uh, or at least supports the impact much better. Now let's see how the belt will be protected. The New York roads are very bad and I try to avoid the holes, but still, you know, this happens. So over two weeks or close to two weeks of riding and both of them are gone. So this part needs to be worked on. Uh, I think softer plastic, but the safe thickness will probably help that. <laughs> board can handle up to 30 degrees inclines and as you can see in the video it does it very easy and very fast here's a short clip going through central park and here's a steep hill that's about a couple of hundred yards long and the board handles it pretty well the speed stay constantly between 32 and 30 kilometers an hour and the board manages to get up to the hill with no issues no power cutoffs no overheating gets up to the hill very easy very fast and there's no slowdown and of course, it is IP55 waterproof rated. So all the specs are for the budget board and even X-Way Pro, the more expensive version, doesn't have these features. And I consider this breakthrough for electric cable industry and I hope other companies implement the safety measurements. So on the final thought, to make this board my favorite, I would like to see three things. Number one, good brakes. 
Number two, faster charger. Number three, swappable battery. Like the one that I have showcased on the European Expo in January in Germany. The board is light, portable, screams quality. Flex does not look or feel like a budget board to me. What if X-Way programs the AC to have the fifth mode? Something called like the fly mode. that gives you 25 miles an hour but faster acceleration like ride. So you lose two or three miles in range but you go wild in this mode. X-Way, give us the best and we'll figure out the rest. This is my opinions on the Flex. I'll do a second video focused on the Hub version. Stay tuned on the updates and I'll see you next time.